the U.S. and China are now adding more flights. They're doubling the number of flights um, between the two countries. Adam, you cover the airlines closely. And so, I mean, I'm, this is fascinating to me, especially at a time when travel between the U.S. and other countries is not flowing, right? And right. with the rhetoric going on that you are seeing this travel happening. Yeah, it's a sign, too, that the Chinese economy has started to grow and reopen and that they might have the virus under control. So what you've got is an agreement that they will double from four to eight flights per week between either country's airlines. And we had United Airlines announce yesterday that their first flight to Shanghai is going to take off from San Francisco on September 4th. Tickets go on sale today for that flight. So this is the slow ramping up of uh, international travel. But, you know, deep breath here. We had news from Southwest today. They're cutting capacity and that's domestic because travel is not recovering at the levels they thought it would. And you have the push in Congress from all the airlines for an additional $25 billion in assistance because the October 1st, it's September 30th, but October 1st deadline is fast approaching, at which point 75,000 employees at all the airlines have been told, you may be laid off, your job gone for good, because they don't have the funding to go forward. So if they can get another 25 billion, the, the airlines are telling Congress, and it's also the labor unions for the airlines, they can push that deadline to March at least, and at least keep some of these people on the benefit side of the payroll package. A lot are taking voluntary leave right now, but still have their benefits with the idea they'll get called back to work. Final note on all this, though, nobody expects airline travel to be back to pre-pandemic levels till 2024. 